Hi guys, this is actor and comedian Adam Banerjee, and I'm here today with The Little Red Dog. And no, I did not just wake up. The Little Red Dog usually has a lot of ways of raising funding, but during quarantine, it's especially hard. And we need to raise awareness to make sure animals don't end up in kill shelters. It's a really unfortunate reality for a lot of dogs. And there are so many loving animals that could be with your family or a family that can really care for them and have a great future together. And every dollar helps. I remember when I was in high school, we had a rescue greyhound. Um, greyhounds are known for being in races where people will bet on them similar to horses. And once they've outlived their ability to really race, their future is very uncertain. And when we adopted Eve, it was a very special time in my life because, you know, I was going through a lot of my phases in high school, uh, being a bit rebellious. And I remember just having this animal um, made me feel loved and made me connect with humanity more, my own humanity. And I remember one time Eve got lost. Yeah, that was a hard day for me. My mom's friend, we were moving, my mom's friend uh, left the door open while he was moving a folding chair. His name was Eric. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know what happened. I was uh, moving that there uh, chair and I forgot to close the door. Can you imagine if he was, I don't know, a brain surgeon? All right, he's ready for outpatient care. What? How could I forget to stitch the head back together? Yeah, so when that happened, I went in my room, locked the door, and blasted Limp Biscuit Because I was a badass. I just needed time to be alone and process, and the police actually found Eve uh, on one of the roads by our house, and I just remember that sense of relief I felt that Eve was back and I knew that we were going to be so much more careful now because I didn't want to ever have to deal with that sense of oh what's going to happen is she going to be okay and I remember sometimes when Eve would uh, sleep in my bed she would have dreams that she was racing again and these dogs can go so fast and I thought my sleepwalking was real but Eve, we used to put her in these fields, these baseball fields, where she could run in a fenced-in area, and she would go like 40 miles per hour. It was a joy to watch her be able to do that. You could tell she was just in her zone. And uh, now my mom actually has another rescue dog named Casper, and I'm so grateful that she has Casper because we're all in these weird situations during quarantine. I wanted to be with my family, but it was... I didn't want to put them at risk because I didn't want to be the one that could possibly give this coronavirus to them if I were to have it and who even knows. I mean, it's there are so many factors that go into this thing, but my mom has just had such a companion with Casper. She told me, I don't know what Casper is going to do after the quarantine because he's always sitting right behind me or right beside me, always excited to take these little walks on, on these roads we can find without people. So... Yeah, I just, I really believe in the cause. And I think that even a small donation helps. So if you're able to do that, go to the littlereddog.org and, and just make a small donation. Or if you have the funds, a larger donation because these animals are there, they're lonely. Some of them have just been found in, in really sad circumstances or, you know, they're missing their families. They have moms and dads too. And we don't really know you know, what their future is. And you can help make their future more bright and more certain by donating at the littlereddog.org. Thank you guys for your time. Stay safe, connect with family. All right.